All right, people, I'm excited this week because our favorite Merc with the Mouth is back. That's right, Deadpool 2 is here, so let's get it. Welcome to the Kaiba Show. <laughs> All right, so Deadpool 2 is starring Ryan Reynolds, Josh Brolin, Moreno Baccarin, Zazie Beats, and is directed by David Leach. And basically, the premise of this movie is we have Deadpool, and he has to create this team called the X-Force, to stop this time traveler cable from basically killing this powerful young mutant boy because whatever happens in his future cable is pissed off about it so what worked for the movie a lot of things work for this movie people first off if you're a deadpool fan you're still going to love this movie and enjoy it because the humor is awesome in this movie if you know anything about the deadpool character you know that he has a filthy mouth so a lot of the humor in this movie, a lot of the references, you're going to be able to enjoy. If you're not too familiar with the character, some of the humor you might find a little bit too much. But other than that, you're going to laugh at this movie. The action is on point. There are some good fight scenes in this movie, especially involving Deadpool and Cable. The cinematography was on point. The soundtrack was pretty good for this movie. And the acting was good. I can't really say nobody really brought their A-game to the table. Except for one character. I'm not going to really mention that character's name to ruin it for the people that want to see this movie but there was like one character i didn't really care too much for the acting but other than that everybody else was pretty decent ryan reynolds did a good job and yeah and that's what pretty much worked for the movie for me so what didn't work for the movie um this is a solid sequel so let me say that but there was a few things that um didn't work for the movie um the storyline they could have cleaned up just a little bit with it um some of the humor like i said if you're not a deadpool fan you're not going to connect to the humor. So I felt like some of the humor, they probably should have did a better job so that all the audience can enjoy it. And I just felt like what I mentioned before, this one particular person, I didn't really care for their acting. So that that's pretty much what I can say that what didn't work for the movie. This is a, still a solid sequel, but it it's not really better than the first movie. It's like right there on the cusp. I think the first one has like a slight edge over it, but obviously the action is definitely better in this movie versus the first one. But I still feel like the first one has a little bit of more of an edge over this one. So that's pretty much what didn't work for the movie. So overall, people, this is a solid sequel, very enjoyable movie. The first one is slightly better than this one, but you're still going to be entertained when you go see this movie. So it's definitely worth seeing an IMAX, definitely worth seeing a regular admission price. Definitely worth buying on Blu-ray and 4K and DVD, all that good stuff. So on the Kaiba scale, a 1 in 10, I'm going to give this movie a solid 8.5. So please, go out and go see this movie, Deadpool 2. You're going to enjoy yourself. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. After hitting the subscribe button, please hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. And leave a comment and hit the like button at the bottom.